the Flash trailer has been out for about a week now. I want to get around to be able to react to it, but I think this trailer is incredible. I think what this trailer's done, even though I I will I will stand by the fact that I am still in very it's a very complex time to be in the DC world to be a DC fan. You know, you watch the Shazam trailer, you go. <laughs> And people talk about why does it have to be connected? It's connected because it's the DC Extended Universe. Don't be daft and don't come out with stupid comments. Um, you can see in this trailer, it's just as complex. It looks excellent. Michael Keaton's back. He says the iconic line of, I'm Batman. Ben Affleck's back as Bruce Wayne. Supergirl's in there, but he's teaming with Keaton and um, the two Ezra's, two Flashes. Um, but then you've got Ben Affleck fighting. It's like, it's like, is that at the start of the film? Because he's having a dialogue and he says he wants to go and uh, be in another reality. I think save his, or be with his mom or something like that. Um, there's apparently speculation is George Clooney is going to be appearing this right at the end. There's, for me, it's a really cool trailer just because of the Batman element. I I, I still find that Ezra Miller should be sacked as Flash. And if you're sitting there going, why, why, why? Because he's, he's, he's getting therapy stuff. I think it's a simple case of this film is going to change a lot. It's going to reboot the DC Extended Universe for the most part. Um, is Supergirl going to live past this film? Or is she just going to have to deal with the fact that she may no longer be Supergirl after this? Because obviously they're making a new Supergirl film. So is she going to be attached to that film? Um, to see that Michael Keaton looks just as epic and brilliant as the Batman. It says a lot about how good he was back in the 80s. Um, you know, he's the only one of the three Batman before the uh, 2000s. That obviously you can say was the only one warrant coming back. You know, Adam West is no longer with us. Kilmer is suffering with throat cancer. <clears throat> And Clooney was not received well. So Keaton is the only one that you knew would come back. Bale said he would never come back if it wasn't anything to do with Nolan. And therefore only leaves you with Ben Affleck as another Batman. So I think it's brilliant that they brought these two back. It's amazing that they're both in action in the film. That they're in their suits, they're in their bikes or Batmobiles or in their... Whatever it may be they're doing. And I, I, I'm just all for what they're doing in this film. As long as Ezra Miller does not remain the Flash at the end of this film. Because I think... And I know they've replaced Henry Cavill for a valid reason. When they go to a younger Superman. I think Ben Affleck still could have pulled off Batman. Because um, he just looks like Batman. I think he's lost a bit too much weight in the sense of... He doesn't look as hench in this film. Um, I don't know. I just think... He just, I just love Ben Affleck and what he's done. I think Keaton looks brilliant as Batman. He just doesn't seem to have aged. He seems to be even better in this film, but I'm excited to see what he offers. Supergirl looks cool. I like how they show a bit of how she comes into the film. You know, how Flash meets Flash in this film. Barry Allen meets Barry Allen. Um, There's a lot of enjoyable factors to it. Uh, I don't think there was a said villain in the trailer going off what I had seen. But I, I, I'm I'm more excited just to get through Shazam, get through this film, get through Aquaman, get these films out of the way and know where we're going. I hope they have removed all post credit scenes from the films and they just are getting past these films. Um I always stand by this. I wish these films were just cancelled or shelved or reshot or redelivered or done something with them because I, I'm excited to watch them. But at the same time, when you're when we're in an era where the, everything needs to have some form of connection, like we watched Shazam to fight Black Adam, we wanted Flash to, you know, rewrite certain things, but keep like the Batman and keep Superman in this world. People have speculated that our version of Barry Allen is going to get stuck in the Keaton verse, <clears throat> and uh, the new stuff will go into a new world that isn't Ben Affleck's world. But again, it's going to be quite confusing because, yeah. But um, there's a uh, there's a lot that we don't know yet, and we're going to have to just basically be patient and wait for things to come into fruition in The Flash, which I think is out in June. I think June 16th, something like that. But of course, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on the film. I think in regards to scale, it looks amazing. The casting is brilliant, I think. I, like I said, I'll stand by this. Ezra Miller is a fantastic actor. I think what he did for Credence in the Fantastic Beast films was brilliant, but he's the reason why they're not going to do any more films, because of his history and his issues in the world. You know, and I think what he did as Flash, I think he was brilliant in Justice League. And um, I think there was definitely room for him, but I think he's just had a really bad reputation. 
over the past few years. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, of course. But ultimately, I'm excited to see what this, this film has to offer because the trailer definitely excites me, especially on a Batman front because Batman is my favourite superhero movie, uh, superhero character, superhero in comics, movies, TV, whatever it may be. I think he just kazumps everybody. But I understand if you're a Flash fan or you're a Superman fan or even if you're a Supergirl fan, uh, I'm just intrigued to see Supergirl in action because I never watched uh, Marissa Benoit on the uh, CW show. So let's see what she has to offer and see if Ezra can pull off a good role as well as Keaton and Affleck. Until next time, goodbye.